Uh, hello everyone, Analytics Edge, 5th of January 2021. Today is uh, Tuesday and time is 5 minutes past 3 p.m. UK time. Last video I published on S&P 500. I counted bearish and bullish, but for the downtrend model, I clearly said that the area you see red is the limit to consider an expanding ending diagonal and I need to see 36.90 to get broken. So what happened is that let me switch to the downtrend model. First of all, as you can see, the resistant level was perfectly respected and just close to the important FIBO cluster, the market reversed. I saw a clear impulsive wave down and the level I mentioned got broken. So gonna delete that level everything's confirmed and now I can count bearish I give more chance to the bearish side although there is always a bullish scenario I will explain more so let's switch to the 30 minutes chart we had an impulsive wave down there are two possible things the impulsive wave is over or we are on the wave three on the impulsive wave okay uh, which one is correct I don't know yet but I'm con uh, considering now that we had a leading diagonal two three we are on a way four five this could be a possible scenario but what I like to see the correction here we had the a B and it, an impulsive C which is good that is impulsive I'm expecting the market to get close to this rectangle here and from that, I will start searching for sell signals. Uh, the invalidation level, it depends. If I consider a 1, 2, 3, I should not see 37, 7, 1 to get broken. If this level is touched, I will be a little bit concerned. But the most important level that shouldn't be touched is here. This level should not uh, under any chance get touch this level here 3783 if that level gets broken then my whole uh, bearish model is invalidated so what i'm looking for come up here somewhere around 37 uh, 34 or in this box i will start looking for sell signals now the uptrend model there we can assume an uptrend model which is not very strong but anyway i'm counting this we can say that we had a correction which is over and now we had the wave one a leading diagonal two and all the way wave three then we will have wave four and wave five all the way up so the minimum thing i need to see for this model is the 37 30, uh, 71 to get broken that will also invalidate the downtrend model and there could be different cons but actually to be honest i give more chance to the downtrend scenario because of a huge impulsive wave down we had and also it broke the corresponding trend channel and the corresponding the left side wave x is also broken thanks for watching and have a good day